Nice to meet you. I'm the director. It's been a year since premature baby Kaylee Schoberling spent 16 days at Wellington Regional Medical Center's Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, also known as NICU. To celebrate Kaylee's birthday, which was on Easter Sunday, mother and daughter reunited with nurses and staff who assisted them. The first 24 hours I was on magnesium and I wasn't allowed to see her. So I was devastated by the time, or not devastated, but just anxious to get here. And um, then I was devastated when I had to leave without her. And they gave, they wrapped her up in a blanket and they gave me the blanket to take home. And it smelled just like her. And then every morning, as soon as it was, the Mickey was open, I was here. And I would stay all day long and I'd leave for a couple hours and then come right back at night. It was a difficult time for Tracy, who had to leave her newborn baby in the hands of the nurses. They didn't treat her like a patient. They treated her like she was theirs. They, they were comforting to me. They, I was having problems breastfeeding. They helped me. Nurses at Wellington Regional made it easier for her, particularly nurse Stephanie Poyer, who formed a close bond with mom and baby. Kaylee was pretty sick for a baby her age, and what I immediately noticed is when Tracy, her mom, would talk to her, Kaylee would calm down, we'd be able to lower her oxygen, and it's those things in those moments, helping these mothers and babies be together, that it's a very rewarding job, and to get to be a part of that, such a special moment between families is is very is very wonderful and very grateful for those opportunities. You are cute. You are too cute. <laughs> the visit to the hospital was made possible by Stacy Nyburn and Tara Gonzalez, owners of Oh So Sweet Designs for Boys and Girls. These women make and sell their own baby accessories and clothes and also started a nonprofit to take donations for other NICUs. One of my best friends, my childhood best friend is um, a nurse in the neonatal um, at Beth Israel in Boston, and she would always buy preemie headbands from us to give, she gets very attached to the babies, to give to the babies, so um, we were thinking, we, why don't we donate headbands so she doesn't keep buying them? <laughs> so we donated 30 headbands to Beth Israel, and um, we just got like a really nice response from the moms. They would send pictures of the babies and just say, you know, it makes me feel like my baby is a baby and not a patient. Tracy, who is also one of their clients, took an interest in their generosity. I saw the pictures and she was so touched by them because Kaylee was in the NICU here. So she had asked what we thought about um, starting a donation page where the customers could get involved to do um, local NICUs and we thought it was an amazing idea so we have a donation page on our website and um, the response has been amazing and Kaylee was in this NICU so we decided to start with this NICU. Wellington Regional Medical Center has a level 3B NICU which means it's able to care for the sickest of premature infants. Can you say mama? Mama. Yeah. But for Tracy and Kaylee the quality of care provided is what made a difficult time easier. They always kept me up to date with everything, with all the progress that she was making and even when she, you know, had a fallback, they explained to me that, you know, this is what happened but it's okay and when I left here, I was a more confident mom because of the things that they taught me. If I would have just had a baby and went home, I wouldn't have known half the stuff.